Hi everyone! My name is Emily and I'm the Young Adult Librarian at the Rock Island Public Library and today I have a bonus Manga Monday title for you and this one is Sweet Blue Flowers. And this is actually volume four because that's what I had at home and in this series first of all I should tell you these are two-in-ones so each of these volumes actually has two books so when you get to like halfway through you're seeing the second book that you know they've just been collected together and published this way and in this book um, there's four volumes of these so technically like eight regular length manga and in these stories you meet uh, two girls in high school and Akira is one of them Akira Okudaira and she runs into on the very first day of high school her friend Fumi who was like her best friend in kindergarten and so they have not seen each other in years but they become friends again even though they go to different high schools um, you see kind of the way this is broken down um, there's two schools in play here uh, Akira attends Fujigaya Women's Academy High School and uh, Fumi Manjome is her name uh, she goes to Matsuoka Girls High School and you see they're different friends they've got you know stuff in common because uh, of the drama club they end up you know the two schools sort of connect and this allows uh, Akira and Fumi to become closer as friends you know they've they've reconnected and high school in Japan I should mention is 10th 11th and 12th grade so they've got three years of sort of knowing each other and seeing each other and becoming closer friends and in this time um, Fumi she has a girlfriend and you know she dates this person for a while it doesn't you know eventually they break up and Akira she's not really sure how she feels about you know dating somebody like there's a girl in her class I believe who's dating her older brother Akira's older brother so that's like a little awkward for her but by this volume volume four I mean they're they're graduating high school and they have decided like Fumi has admitted to Akira that hey I like you and so they're kind of trying to date because Akira is thinking okay well you know this this is a really important person in my life like of course I love Fumi but she's kind of starting to wonder like I don't know if I feel the same way like I don't know if I love you in the same way that you seem to love me and she's still kind of figuring this out you know she hasn't dated the way that Fumi has this is her first relationship so Akira is kind of wondering well I, do, I don't know if I know how to make this work and they're going into college you know in this last part of the book you see that you know they're doing like there's a senior class trip and they just have all these different experiences where you know they actually in England I believe like Akira runs into Fumi's ex who is studying abroad in England and what you find you know as as the book goes on uh, eventually they're having graduated you, know, you see that's, that's happening graduation and they get you know to the end the end of high school and go for a walk one day after school and you know, talk about the fact that you know Akira even asks like Fumi do you still like me and they just have this moment of well you know we are really important to each other but Akira tells Fumi she needs time to think she's not sure where her feelings are really at so kind of move forward uh, I believe yeah this is chapter 52 this is one I believe the final chapter and they're in college you know some time has passed and they reconnect at a friend's wedding and they're in the bathroom because um, Fumi has gotten like a run in her stocking and her hair is kind of messed up and Akira sees her like ready to just like pull out you know just I'm gonna just wear my hair down doesn't matter and Akira is like hang on you work so hard let me let me fix your hair and so they talk and you know they're able to reconnect and have this moment of oh okay you know Akira realizes in seeing Fumi with somebody else um, you know she's not sure is this a new friend from college is this a girlfriend she's not sure but she's able to finally kind of be honest and I mean recognize that okay the discomfort I felt around you it wasn't that I don't feel the same way you do it's it's like this is a jealousy thing you know I feel like wow love is supposed to just be nice feelings right well but except maybe I'm kind of jealous of the new connections you're making and the people in your life who could be 
romantically involved with you and maybe I want that. You know, she's just has to have this time to really feel like, oh, okay, you know, having some distance from this person, you know, realizes, okay, this is how I really feel. So it's, it's, I think, with a lot of manga, you have like a slow burn thing. And this is certainly the case here, where the main couple, maybe one person realizes from the start, oh, I love this person, and then the other person doesn't, doesn't get there right away. And I think that's something a lot of people really enjoy with romance manga, because, I don't know, I think in real life, romance can just be mutual attraction. But, you know, in a story, it's certainly interesting when you see people grow and change, and in this case you have several years of these people being friends and like having friends in common and then having, you know, changes in their relationship make them kind of see each other differently. So it's fun to watch these things evolve. And, you know, in fiction you get to have the experience of, you know, it's, you're, you're not a voyeur, you're just watching these people as they grow, and you see that, oh, okay, no, it, it makes sense that Akira wouldn't necessarily feel a certain way right away. Like, just, just because Fumi confessed how she felt doesn't mean that Akira would immediately reciprocate. Like, that's that's not really realistic. It, it totally gels in my mind that, oh yeah, you know, maybe having some time apart and like getting to have other experiences, you know, Akira would start to realize, oh yeah, you know, Fumi has been this really important person in my life. And, you know, I do see her in this romantic way. I just, you know, she, it makes sense that maybe you wouldn't want to rush into something, you know, this very important relationship in their lives. Especially, I mean, you get just, uh, in this book, it's acknowledged because there, there are other couples and these are same sex couples. These are all women. And in Japan, I mean, there's been strides made in marriage equality, certainly. Um, you know, domestic partnerships have become a thing. But there's still this idea that, oh, you're supposed to grow up and, you know, get married, you know, be a bride. But, like, there's, there's homophobia, certainly, that the characters have to deal with. Or there are these expectations on the parts of parents and families and, you know, various women in this book, you know, they recognize that, well, I, I'm not going to do that. Like, I want to live my own life and be who I am. I'm, I'm not going to get married just to make my parents happy. So, if you like romance manga, this is certainly just a really interesting story. And I've read, you know, again, it's two in one volume, so this is the last one, and I really enjoyed all of them. This was uh, on a list a few years ago, I think, for uh, maybe great graphic novels for teens, which is through like ALA and the Young Adult uh, Library Services Association. These were recommended, so I checked them out, and yeah, I enjoyed them a lot. And the author, uh, Takako Shimura, she's written a lot of Yuri manga, which is like, um, you know, women in love. And this is a genre where, I mean, I think it's, it's something else that's like kind of evolved. Um, you know, boys love manga certainly has been around in the United States for a while, but you know, we're, we're getting more kind of really just well-developed LGBTQ comics. And you get to see, you know, you have these stories of characters coming out and like figuring out who they are, you know, getting to know each other, but also themselves. So that's a really satisfying thing in this story. So if you want to check these out, I believe, I think we own all of these and they're available here at the library, but if you can't get them uh, right away, you can also always put books on hold. And thank you for watching. I will see you again soon.